significantly reduce maternal and neonatal mortality rates in our country. They are also further testimony to the commitment of government to improve our country's health care infrastructure and move us steadily towards the goal of achieving universal health coverage for all. On my recent visit to Kolebu, when I commissioned the intensive care unit of the National Reconstructive Plastic Surgery and Burn Center for the hospital, I was struck by the poor state of the maternity block. I promise to help remedy the situation as the current state of the building is not fit for purpose. Today's ceremony is a fulfillment of the pledge I made. Once completed, the facility will contribute to addressing the persistent challenges of high maternal and child health morbidity and mortality in Ghana. It will also help accelerate our progress towards the achievement of the SDGs, the Sustainable Development Goals, through enhanced access to quality maternal and child health services. Government has secured an amount of 145 million 220,000 euros from start Standard Chartered Bank to cover the cost of the project with an export credit guarantee from the Swedish export credit towards the reconstruction of the maternity block. The 12-story maternity block will have the complete functional package for the delivery of maternal services with the following components. 400 bed capacity, 20 labor delivery rooms, 100 seater waiting area, 26 recovery wards, 18 treatment rooms, 24 consulting rooms, 7 theaters, IVF services, 10 room accommodation for new mothers, 32-seater restaurant with a preparation area and an emergency unit with its own triage and operating theater. Indeed, upon completion, the center will be the first public facility to deliver IVF services in the country. I'm also happy to inform you that funding to the tomb of 38 million euros has been secured for the turnkey construction of a urology and nephrology center of excellence here at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital. This is being funded by Rifeson Bank International AG Limited of Austria with OEKB Group again from Austria providing insurance cover of 4,666,950 euros. The project will be constructed by Vamed Engineering of Austria, and once it is completed, will offer advanced treatment for persons with genital urinary conditions, chronic and acute kidney failures, as well as nephrology services, such as kidney transplant. The two-story urology and nephrology center will have a 31-suite dialysis station for persons with kidney disorders and 70 beds for genital urinary patients. The center will also provide outpatient services and serve as a resource base to conduct research into urology and nephrology cases. Again, once completed, it will be a game changer for men in this country, especially for those of us above the age of 40 years old. <laughs> the irony of the matter, I am told, is that at the approval stage in Parliament, it was our female MPs 
who were at the forefront of pushing for the acceptance of this project. Kolebu Teaching Hospital, through the construction of these facilities, will be in a strong position to give meaning to medical tourism, services to neighboring countries, and increase its re revenue base to expand services. I look forward to seeing these two important projects completed on schedule and on budget. And I urge the contractors and management of the hospital to collaborate effectively in delivering quality projects to the benefit of all Ghanaians. May God bless us all in our homeland, Ghana, and make her great and strong.